one will be Yuko Chino. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Star Wars action figure review on the Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi 6 inch black series Kylo Ren. Trying to pick this up, you can order it right now. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So I actually did pick this up at Target. I'm trying to take it easy on the Force Friday shopping, so I only went out just yesterday, which I think is like the third day uh, this Labor Day weekend, and I found a couple of things, one of them being Kylo Ren right over here, and it looks pretty good so far. We get a nice image of Kylo Ren, all right, looking pretty sweet. He's got the big old scar. It says Kylo Ren on the side, and on the very back, you can see that scarred Kylo Ren. Once again, there's a read-up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now, and then on this side, it's all in red, and it says number 45, Kylo Ren. Not much more at the top, but not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing over. And here is Kylo Ren out of the packaging, and for this guy being so bad, this figure is so good. I have quite a few Kylo Ren figures, and yep, this one's my favorite one. Just a lot of really good things about it. Uh, he doesn't come with the helmet, as you may have already seen from the packaging, but still, he comes with a decent amount of accessories. So I want to get a closer look at those, and then we'll get a closer look at Kylo Ren. So first off, let's get a look at his cape, which I really like a lot. And we have a new costume design for Kylo Ren in this movie, where he has this cape like like this uh, without the hood or I guess maybe you can completely remove the hood but anyway for this particular figure we get this plastic which is nice and pliable so I'm very 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 happy about that and it also has this grayish brownish tone to it it's kind of hard to pick up as I brighten things up you can see it kind of I don't know you can see that hue in there we get some sculpted lines throughout you know going horizontally or diagonally throughout on the back of the cape I guess this is, I don't know exactly if that's part of the design or, you know, that's battle scars and stuff like that from Ray. But very nice looking cape. And you can just, you know, plop it over his shoulders. You want to tuck it underneath his long hair. And there you go. So very nice looking cape. He also comes with a couple of lightsabers. So you have one lightsaber without the blade. Looking very nice. Nice gun metal. I like it. Looks very good. I think we've seen this before. Uh, maybe not, but um, this does have this tabbing feature which I really like. So on his hip right over here, you can go ahead and tab the lightsaber in. And that holds very nicely. You can see that you get these kind of teeth shapes inside there. So yeah, that works out a lot. I, or works out very well anyway. I dig that. And then of course we also get the full lightsaber right over here, which I love. Very nice looking lightsaber. You have the red line going down right over here, and yeah, so I'm really digging that. Very, very nice look. I think we've seen this before, though. Bringing in my previous Kylo Ren lightsaber from the Kmart exclusive. Thank you, Chu. Uh, you can see there are differences in the sculpt between the lightsabers. This one has the notch right over there, and this one does not. We also get gold paint on the older one. Uh, this newer one does not have gold paint on the sides. Uh, they both have the red dot at the bottom. Uh, of course, this one's a little bit lighter in color. We have a more saturated red right over here on the newer one, so I do like that. And you can see we do get a more detailed sculpt in the newer blade. Uh, there's a lot more lines sculpted in there compared to the older one, so that's pretty cool. So looking at this figure compared to some promo images I found from The Last Jedi, I think they nailed the likeness of Adam Driver with this head sculpt. I mean, come on, man! They nailed it! Look at this! Ah, I'm just fully impressed with it. I, I, I just absolutely love this head sculpt. I love how the scar looks coming down right over here. It goes above the eyebrow and they even got it on the neck right over there too. That is great. I think the paint apps came out fairly clean for the most part. It looks like the brown kind of fades underneath a little bit right there. I guess that's my one gripe with the paint on this head but other than that I think it looks awesome. I really like this head sculpt a lot man. Now I did pick up the STCC exclusive Kylo Ren uh, last year and I just want to do a comparison right over there. I never opened it, never reviewed it. It's just a shame. It's just one of those figures that I spent money on and I just didn't get to reviewing it or opening it and now that I have this one I'm a bit less likely to ever do so so I don't know I might end up selling it on the eBay or something like that it's not going for very much or anything it's been an exclusive to many conventions but anyway back to this I really like this new outfit and I like that we get all this textured detail throughout right here looks really cool and we get some nice band wrapping you know going all the way down the arm right over there the hands look pretty neat too so yep Oop, I just dropped the lightsaber Yep, we get the texture detail right there in the joints, which I'm going to get to in a little bit because these are very good elbow joints. 
You get little touches of silver right over there on that waistband. And very nice soft material over here, you know. So, oh, there's a Kylo butt. But yeah, you can see Kylo crotch right there. So it allows for articulation. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, going back to lifting this up, you can see some nice wrinkles right there in the pants. And we have this kind of grayish, I don't know, there's almost like this purplish hue in the plastic right here. I just like subtle differences in black. I think that's very cool. Like we get this much glossier black right over here for the boots, which looks fantastic. And he does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet and again we get wrinkles behind the knees right over here And I got to say my favorite thing about this body mold is that they really did capture uh, the likeness of Adam Driver's tall lanky body Like it really does have that whole Kylo Ren vibe He, he has that little bit of a slouch right over there and just these long legs and everything. It, they didn't just nail the likeness of his face, they nailed the likeness of his whole body, and I just think that's fantastic. And I also think they did a great job with our articulation, however, he can't move the head up more than that, so at least it moves up just a little bit, but yeah, he does have hair back there, and it's pretty hard plastic, so they didn't use the soft plastic like the Marvel team does. But anyway, hey, there's his lightsaber. Yeah, that's a reach. Okay, but you can get him moving all the way down right over there, and you get side-to-side -side movement, and not much wobble. Uh, shoulders can move all the way out and move all the way down, rotate 360, and we get this great elbow joint, which is single jointed, but it bends in very far. I mean, for a single jointed elbow, I cannot complain about that. That is great. I mean, that's as much as you'd want to get from a double jointed elbow. So, wow, yeah, that, that that's very impressive. You also get the elbow swivel. I would still like a bicep swivel. Then we get rotation at the wrist, and both hands have the side to side movement on the wrist joint. So they don't have the up and down, they have the roll of the dice motion right there, which which is great for lightsaber wielding. You also get a waist joint that turns side to side. You also get some great waist pivot and you get some waist crunching forward and waist crunching back. There's also a waist joint in here and it's kind of tricky to see, but as he's turned this way, you can see that there's like this waist churning right over here while he's still facing that direction. So it's kind of like two separate joints that they have right over here. So you can see how that's twisted all the way around this way. And that's twisted all the way around that way. So that's pretty interesting. And then we get hip joints that move outward that much. So not too far. Uh, you can kick forward quite a bit and back some upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, which bend in all the way, which is very cool. And then he does not have any boot rotation, which I wish he had, but his ankles will move all the way down. They do move very far up and he does have great ankle pivot. One thing I didn't mention earlier is that his lightsaber is slightly bent so I guess I could try to heat that up and straighten it out but anyway measuring out this Kylo Ren figure you could see that he's standing right at six and a half inches tall and then for your Kylo Ren comparison here we have the first the force awakens Kylo Ren figure right over there and yeah you can see it's just a little bit shorter than this new figure and then here's Kylo Ren next to the SDCC exclusive Ray figure that came in the two-pack with Luke Skywalker which you know you can also get at retail like this which is kind of neat because I don't have to go hunt for that I already have this version right over here but I like the height difference between these two and these two better fight man uh, I took pictures of them fighting each other and they better fight in this next movie who I'm gonna be so mad if they don't and then here's Kylo Ren next to the SDCC exclusive Thrawn figure that I recently reviewed and somebody had asked if the helmets that come with this Thrawn figure fit onto Thrawn and they do so here's the Gree helmet you know goes right on there and you can have the the Jedi Temple Guard helmet goes right on there as well, which is kind of funny looking, but yeah, so those do fit. And then comparing Kylo Ren to your average six inch scale figure, here he is next to the Marvel Legends big time doula down Spider-Man. And there's Kylo Ren on a Mafex stand in a leaping pose, and I love that I can get this guy into some dynamic poses. Very fun figure to pose around. Uh, one little gripe I didn't mention earlier is that the material that they used for the upper torso right here is very stiff, and that's a little problem because on the shoulder pads right over there that restricts the arms to actually get close enough to each other where you can get both hands on the lightsaber with the arms over his head so yeah if you wanted to get him posed with both hands on the lightsaber over his head uh, you can't really do that with this piece it just doesn't let it happen but you can still get this guy into plenty of dynamic poses a very fun figure to have I'm very happy that I found it and I was able to pick it up and I hope you guys are very happy with this review if you are please hit the like button go ahead and leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this figure. Let me know what you think of the review. If you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way. And if you're already subscribed, hit that notification bell. Gotta give a big thanks to all these people over here for supporting this YouTube channel. If you are interested in doing
doing so, please check the link in the description below. And if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it will be over at JediInsider.com and you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I've been on the Twitter a little bit more lately, so you definitely want to check that out. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what strangers say. I'm gonna play with my toys today. That's crispy. We're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot.